The internet is filled with examples of people messing with the wrong person. From trash-talking MMA fighters getting beaten by a humble opponent, or a bullied kid finally losing it with his bully. The lesson is to pick your battles and not be so cocky. Well, it seems that these ideas never made it into the ocean because it's pretty much a full-on battle royale going on under the water. And there's plenty of sea creatures literally biting off more than they can chew in the ocean world. From the greatest predator on Earth finally meeting an even more ferocious sea animal to an all-out crustacean gang war, I bring you 15 times sea animals messed with the wrong opponent. <sighs> Number 15. Orca vs. Shark If you ask most people what the greatest predator of the ocean is, the answer will often be the great white shark. Others might point out that the tiger shark is almost as powerful and ferocious as the great white. There's no denying how incredible both of these sharks are as predators, but there is one other creature in the oceans that is so OP, it is able to attack and kill both tiger sharks and great white sharks seemingly just for fun. That creature is the orca. Or as it's also known, the killer whale. First, in this footage captured by some divers, we see an incredibly rare scene in which a pod of killer whales attack a tiger shark, ripping off its fins. Even more incredibly, we also now have footage of killer whales attacking great white sharks and eating their livers. For years, people living on the coast in South Africa speculated on the mystery of great white sharks washing up on a beach without their livers. But now we have proven that killer whales are responsible. Whether it's great whites or tiger sharks, this is an incredible discovery. And as we see in this footage, the coordinated circling and hunting of the tiger shark shows what a truly fearsome predator the killer whale is. These guys on the boat clearly could not believe their luck, as they witnessed two of nature's greatest beasts going head to head. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Number 14. Crab vs. Lobster I'm not going to lie, Great White Shark vs. Killer Whale as a contest is a pretty hard act to follow. Still, we have it. It's Crab vs. Lobster vs. Crab vs. Lobster vs. Crab vs. Lobster vying for the big prize, which looks like a small piece of fish. These crustaceans seem to be locked into some kind of gang war, and neither side wants to give up their treasure. It does seem as though, so the crab has the upper hand, forcing the lobster to back away. But then he hasn't done enough to actually capture the tasty piece of fish he seems to want so badly. In the midst of all this chaos, a chilled out crayfish shows up, takes one look, and realizes he doesn't want anything to do with this showdown. We've all seen the video of a badass crab who picked up a knife in one of his claws, making this seem even more like it's the ocean equivalent of a feud between the Bloods and the Crips, or Gambino vs. Genovese. My money is on the crabs in this one. What do you think? Number 13. Hermit Crab vs. Mantis Shrimp The Mantis Shrimp is the Tyson Fury of the ocean floor. This little crustacean has a punch so powerful it can rip a hole in the shell of its prey. Of course, its tiny size means that it does not do this with muscle strength, but rather an unusual construction of its arm, which allows them to operate something like a bow and arrow. In this clip, we see the mantis shrimp's slightly cruel owner throwing a hermit crab into the mantis tank. The hermit crab is a scavenger and stands no chance against the mantis shrimp and its bullet-like punch. However, this crab put up a pretty incredible fight, but once the shrimp was able to punch through the shell, and in doing so demonstrating its incredible technique, there was only to be one winner. The shrimp's spring-loaded fists move at a speed of 23 meters per second, meaning that their impact is the equivalent of being hit by a 22 caliber bullet. So it really is a bullet punch. Let's take a moment to salute this brave hermit crab, though, who threw off his shell and died, fighting like some kind of naked but noble Roman soldier. Number 12. 
octopus versus moray eel. Once again, we head into the water, where we find one of nature's most intelligent species, the octopus. But this individual is about to have a very bad day when he encounters a moray eel. The moray eel has an unusual jaw system. At the back of the throat, there is a second set of jaws. And when the eel lunges for prey, these extra jaws move forward, meaning the eel gets a double grip on whatever it is eating. Also, they have another cool feature in their mouths, a small opening on the side, which allows water to be flushed out while the mouth is open. Otherwise, the force of the eel's attack would push the prey away with water displacement. This is part of what makes moray eels such amazing predators. And as this octopus finds out, once a moray eel gets a hold of you, there's not a lot you can do about it. It's not long before he's off with his prize, dragging the octopus along this reef in the Pacific, so he can enjoy some real brain food. Number 11. Bobbit Worm versus Flamboyant Cuttlefish The bobbit worm is pretty much a living nightmare. These bristle worms live mainly in the Atlantic Ocean, and it hunts by ambush. The largest species of bobbit worms can reach a huge 10 feet in length, but almost all of this is buried deep in soft sediment on the ocean floor, with only the antennae waving above. Once it senses a passing prey species, the bobbit worm launches up from its hole, grabbing onto its prey with multiple mouthparts, which pretty much look like Satan's face. The large external sections work like bone-hard grappling hooks, and the speed of attack is terrifying. However, life as a hunter without eyes or a brain does mean there's going to be a few misses before you hit a target. This spectacular multicolored cuttlefish found out just what a menace the bobbit worm can be. And although the cuttlefish was a little too big to drag down into the sand, it didn't look too healthy following this encounter. Hilariously, the bobbit worm is named after the infamous John and Lorena Bobbit case, in which Lorena Bobbit removed her husband's, um, <clears throat> worm with a pair of scissors. Number 10. Sea Lion vs. Octopus If defending against a moray eel wasn't hard enough, this octopus now has to face off against a humongous sea lion. For this clip, researchers placed a camera on the back of a sea lion so that they could observe its hunting tactics. What they found out was this, a hungry sea lion launching an attack on an octopus. The octopus, which is pretty huge itself, is surprised by the sea lion, who takes a bite out of one of its tentacles. The sea lion then drags the octopus to the surface so that it can continue the battle and breathe some air at the same time. The octopus takes this opportunity to flee squirting a cloud of black ink in the sea lion's face, like something from Mario Kart, but it's not enough. It's going to take way more than that little bit of ink to stop this sea lion, who uses a strategy of biting off one tentacle at a time and so disabling the octopus. Brutal but effective, before long there's not much of the octopus, but there is one happy and satisfied sea lion. Number 9. Sea Turtle vs. Jellyfish There's jellyfish in our oceans, which have something known as the immortality gene. While the jellyfish in this clip is not a species that necessarily has that immortality gene, this turtle shows up to show what it thinks about jellyfish immortality. That said, for the turtle this must be one spicy meatball, as those jellyfish tentacles pack a powerful sting. You'll notice that the turtle closes its eyes as it attacks, protecting the only part of its body which is susceptible to the jellyfish sting. It slurps the flaming hot tentacles down like a bowl of noodles, and there's no escape for the jellyfish. In a dark way, the jellyfish has a kind of revenge on the turtle, albeit one which is mainly caused by irresponsible humans. Our oceans are absolutely overflowing with discarded plastic bags, and turtles often mistake the plastic bags for jellyfish. Eating them is a death sentence for the turtle. There are other reasons why the green sea turtle is so endangered, but the amount of plastic in our ocean, which looks like jellyfish, certainly is not helping them. Still, we can feel a little bad for the jellyfish, who is just out swimming around minding his own business before being suddenly eaten up like a plate of a spaghetti. Number 8. Sea Urchin vs. Crab Back in ancient Rome at the Colosseum, they used to make gladiators fight one another to the death. 
and often each gladiator would have a totally different combination of weapons and defensive items, just to make things more interesting. The equivalent of this on the sea floor seems to be this crab versus this sea urchin in a battle of totally different weapons and defensive strategy. The sea urchin is just a wet porcupine covered in sharp spines, making this one seriously awkward encounter. The crab, on the other hand, has two large pinching claws and a hard shell for defense. To begin with, it looks like the urchin is in serious trouble, with discarded spines all over the sea floor. However, this prickly little creature is no pushover, and in the end, it's the crab who scuttles back to hide under a rock, while the sea urchin carries on his way, looking rather pleased with himself, maybe shouting in sea urchin language. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? I'm a mafia sponge urchin. In any case, it seems both of these creatures found a worthy opponent and perhaps next time they'll learn to avoid one another and just have a peaceful day down on the seabed instead. Number 7. Octopus vs Shark If you're anything like me, you're probably feeling a little bad by now for these octopuses of this world, after seeing them being completely annihilated twice already in this video. That it has to worry about, but a shark. Life as an octopus is not easy, it seems, living in an ocean filled with razor-sharp-toothed predators, but if you are expecting another massacre, then you might be in for a surprise. At the first attempt, the octopus fails. The shark's teeth are too sharp, and its body is too strong. However, the octopus launches a second attack, this time on a slightly smaller shark. Once the tentacles begin to wrap around the shark's body, the shark is in serious trouble. It's in a death grip. As soon as the shark stops moving, it stops breathing, and the super smart octopus knows this all too well. Clinging on tightly with its strong tentacles, it waits for the shark to die, before using its beak to eat up the unfortunate little shark. We can all be a little relieved to see the giant Pacific octopus pull one back for the eight-legged team. Number 6. Pufferfish vs Mantis Shrimp Yep, we couldn't get enough of the mantis shrimp. This little badass is in the ring again. This time its unfortunate opponent is a pufferfish. It's a gladiator thing again, and the mantis shrimp has been given an exoskeleton, eyesight 6,000 times better than a human, and bionic arms that can punch with the force of a speeding bullet. The pufferfish, on the other hand, has been given the, um, ability to just kind of inflate like a soccer ball. I mean, this strategy might work sometimes, but their strongest attack seems to be convincing Japanese people that eating their extremely toxic liver is a good idea. The mantis shrimp doesn't care about that, and the look on the poor pufferfish's face tells you everything you need to know. The shrimp uses its incredible bullet arm, and then suddenly, bang goes the pufferfish, this sad little face staring out one last time before being dragged into whatever kind of terrifying torture chamber the mantis shrimp probably lives in. Maybe if the explosion had been more of a kamikaze effort like those bombs in the um, Super Mario games, the pufferfish might have had the last laugh. But as it turns out, he's just a casual snack for this badass little shrimp. Number 5. Moray Eel vs Lionfish The lionfish, a bit like the mantis shrimp, is kind of overpowered. At least it is in the Caribbean Sea, where this clip was filmed. The lionfish is an invasive species in the Caribbean, and these venomous predators are wreaking havoc with the natural equilibrium in this sea. Divers there are encouraged to hunt them in the hope that their numbers can be controlled. As you can see here, the divers approach very cautiously taking hold of the fish with what looks like a giant pair of tweezers. The last thing they want is to be pricked by one of those menacing, venomous spines along the fish's back. After a while, a huge green moray eel shows up, and it looks as though this large predator is going to do the diver's job for them and sneak a meal into the bargain. But in spite of the huge difference in size between the large eel and the much smaller lionfish, the moray stands no chance of getting anywhere near this prickly customer. And a couple of unpleasant encounters with those spines sends the eel on his way. And the almost invincible lionfish carries on as fearless as ever. Back to the divers then, to carry on the cleanup operation and take the heat off some of the other species who live in this part of the ocean. 
Number 4. Eel vs. Sea Snake This crazy footage was shot by a scuba diver off the coast of Thailand. This is a truly epic battle between two evenly matched and pretty ferocious sea predators. We've already met the moray eel today, but this is our first encounter with a sea snake. And make no mistake, sea snakes are just as dangerous as their cousins on the land, if not more so. There seems to be tying themselves into a huge knot, and the eel has clamped its powerful jaws onto the snake's body, while the snake seems to be trying to swallow the eel whole in spite of the fact that the eel's body is clearly thicker than the snake's. I don't know whether this sea snake was a venomous species or not, but some sea snakes do have incredibly powerful venom, which could have ended this fight a lot earlier. After an exhausting 10 minutes of endless wrestling, the two tenacious creatures wriggle away, still locked in their life and death struggle. This footage was shot by the scuba divers back in 2004, and internet legend has it that the snake and eel are still fighting to this day. Number 3. Octopus vs. Eel Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I've got kind of an octopus obsession developing, and also one for eels, as you may have noticed by now anyway. So what better than to have, finally, an octopus facing off against an eel? This footage was shot in the Red Sea off the coast of Egypt. We see a sneaky octopus creeping up behind the tiger snake eel. The octopus grabs the eel by the tail, and pretty quickly the eel realizes something is up. He turns around to take a look at what has grabbed him, only to find his head being stuck in some part of the octopus that we cannot see. The eel seems dazed by the encounter at first, then performs a spinning motion which sets him free. However, the octopus has not given up yet, and the struggle continues, only now out in the open. The octopus completely envelops the eel, and it looks like this fight is over. But this epic struggle will not end, and there's a twist. Literally, when the eel manages to land enough bites upon the octopus to force the octopus to let him go, and suddenly it is the eel swimming for freedom that we see, while the exhausted and maybe injured octopus slinks back into a hole in the rocks. Still feeling hungry, no doubt. Number 2. Crab vs. Cuttlefish Chances are that unless you spend a lot of time in the woodlands of the United States alone at night after drinking quite heavily, you're probably never going to see a space alien. The next best thing might just be the cuttlefish. This extraordinary cephalopod has some really unusual features, including an internal shell, which it can fill with oxygen to help with buoyancy. And also it has amazing camouflaging abilities, which allow it to change its color to that of its surroundings at incredible speed. On top of all that, it literally looks like a spaceship in flight from some distant alien civilization, as we can see here in this clip. The cuttlefish hovers over the crab, poised to attack. The much bigger cuttlefish strikes, and it looks like it might be a bad day for Mr. Crab. Once again the victim in another brutal sea battle. But this time the crab strikes back, and it is the cuttlefish who has learned a valuable lesson. And the next time, we'll maybe choose a meal with a few less claws. That makes this 1-0 to the crab. Number 1. Snail vs. Fish Alright, it's time for some nightmare fuel. At least, nightmare fuel if you happen to be a fish. Cone snails are not like ordinary sea snails. The main difference is that they are some of the most venomous creatures on Earth. In this clip, we see the most venomous cone snail of all, known as the Geographus cone, approaching a sleeping fish. The snail releases a kind of sedative into the water first, and then proceeds to envelop the fish in a kind of horrifying fleshy veil. Once this is completed, it uses a harpoon appendage to stab the fish and pump it full of deadly venom. The moment this happens is fairly obvious, as we see the fish begin to thrash about, but within just seconds, the venom has taken effect, and the fish is doomed. In another clip, we see this action more clearly with a different species of cone snail, one which harpoons its prey without the use of the veil. And once again, the power of the venom of the cone snail is evident when you see how quickly the fish dies after being harpooned. The cone snail of the Geographus species carries enough venom to kill 26 full-grown men, 
and many people have fallen victim to this incredibly dangerous snail, usually by accidentally stepping on one while diving on a reef. If you've never been scared of snails before, now it's never too late to start. Which of these sea animals did you think was the most badass? Are you now as obsessed with octopuses as I am? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!